a number that needs to be repeated from our last encounter. The Bruins are 10-1-3 and in their last 14 with a whopping 23 points among the hottest teams in the NHL right now. Guess what? Second place in the Atlantic Division. And um, those people up north in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Uh, don't look now, but we're three games behind you with the Winter Classic about uh, two weeks away. So that is looking like it's going to be more of an important game than originally thought of especially with Montreal's dominance of that series in the late. And speaking of dominance of a series, it's game number 32 for the Boston Bruins as they take on the New Jersey Devils, a team that in various trips to the TD Garden, in fact, in their last nine, they are a whopping 1-6-2, and two, even though they have a fantastic goaltender in the pride of Boston College, Corey Schneider. He'll take on Jonas Gustafson tonight. And the Patriots earlier today, they won 33-16. to And I love a Patriots football game followed by a Bruins hockey game. It's a great way to spend a Sunday on the Bruins Recap Show. So I'd like to start off this, uh, this bit by... Uh, Mentioning how much of a cheeky bastard Jack Edwards is, the uh, NESN commentator, the New England Sports Network commentator for the Boston Bruins, the quote-unquote biggest homer in the game, uh, but all, let's face it, all places have their homer commentators indeed. Uh, in referring to the curved glass that is in between both benches, Jack Edwards qua called it, and I quote, the Pacioretty panel. And I know it's a terrible incident, and the, it, it took Max Pacioretty out for more, I believe, the entirety of that season. That's just, that's a terribly funny, somewhat offensive joke. Jack Edwards, you cheeky bastard. Anyway, further on into the first period, in fact, in about the first five minutes of the first period, Matt Bolesky breathing down the neck of a New Jersey Devil defenseman, coughs up the puck to David Krejci, behind the net he goes, wide open in the slot is Louis Erickson, who buries it. one nothing Boston to start off the first period. Couple of ticky-tack, not good calls uh, made by the officials, but we've seen that more and more in all sports nowadays. I mean... Hell, I watched the NFL before watching the Bruins hockey. That's a disaster of penalties. Uh, but it's a, it's a sloppy, sloppy period for the most part, with the exception of the first five minutes, where the Bruins looked really well in the first five, and then just sloppiness. The sloppiness that continued its way into the second period, as New Jersey will get a tip-in goal that was given up easily, very, very easy uh, to Andy Green, making it a tied hockey game. And the Bruins, they got a little bit better towards the end of the period, but they need to play much better and go back to how they were playing earlier in this streak. This is what uh, we would like to call a lazy Sunday drive of a hockey game. And the laziness continues in a very uneventful third period, uh, but the Bruins do go on a brief power on go on the power play to begin overtime. Overtime! But uh, in the overtime period, some good saves here by Jonas Gustafsson, especially after a one-timer whiff on the power play by Zdeno Chara, uh, which gave New Jersey a shorthanded game winner chance. Jonas Gustafsson coming up huge. Speaking of coming up huge, Corey Schneider, 38 saves in this game for the New Jersey Devils. He stood huge in the overtime period. A very entertaining overtime, but 3-on-3, three 4-on-3, three, 4-on-4 three, four four are your scenarios for overtime in different forms. Um, that's going to be a very entertaining thing anyway. I love the 3-on-3 three three format, my own personal opinion. But this game will go to a shootout. And Boston electing to shoot first in the shootout. Gives it up to Ryan Spooner, the first shooter. He scores it past uh, 
Corey Schneider. Lee Stepniak for New Jersey to follow up. Can't put it in. Past Goofy Gustafson. Max Talbot, for whatever fucking reason, Max Talbot taking a, a shootout opportunity. The old man, terrible. Loses it. No goal. Paul Mary. Jonas Gustafson comes up huge. Patrice Bergeron, who should have been shooting second with probably Brad Marchand following third. That was me, of course. But I'm not one to question the second winningest hockey coach in Boston history. I think I just did. I don't know. But Patrice Bergeron, he doesn't put it in the net. And Jonas Gustafson will come up big as Camel Mike Camillari is unable to beat him. The Bruins will take this one in a shootout with a 2-1 victory on a lazy, lazy, hazy Sunday late afternoon, a late Sunday evening game, if you will. Three stars of the game. Star number three is Ryan Spooner with the shootout winner. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get late. Louis Erickson, the second star with a the one goal of the game. And Jonas Gustafsson. Very good performance, even though this game was a little lackadaisical, but a great performance in overtime, in the shootout, and in the third period as well. Winning streak continues. This is the third win in a row for the Boston Bruins. More importantly, it's a six straight game point streak, and the Bruins have been red hot in their last 15. They get the St. Louis Blues at home on Tuesday night where they'll look to continue the winning ways into the three-day Christmas break. This is it. We'll see you then on Tuesday for the next Bruins Recap Show.